Hi, my name is Ido. I'm a developer here at Dexab, and I worked uh, on the improved GitHub integration. Why did we improve the integration? What was wrong with the current one? First of all, we think that all of the users should be able to choose whatever tools they want to work with and have the best way to work with them. And we saw a lot of people are using GitHub, and GitHub has some great CI CD tools and code review tools. So the new inter integration actually allows you to utilize all of the GitHub features, like the GitHub Actions, and allow you to keep having the normal code reviews while being able to use all of DEXAP features, right? So you can see pull requests and issues in a rich way and enjoy all of the current DEXAP features and the future ones that we're building right now. In short, what the integration allows you to do is four main things, which are sync the repository instantly, sync pull requests and issues, opening and closing and merging them from the DEXAB UI, as well as from GitHub, and also a zero stars. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with demoing some of this stuff. So this is just um, like some users GitHub project that I found on DEXAB, okay? This is the GitHub repo. They have also a, a DVC. And they created a connection, which I'm going to go over on how to do right after this. So this one is the DEXAB connection. Okay, you can see the GitHub stars are migrated as well. Okay, this user has experiments, DVC, issues, and pull requests. Okay, they have everything. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is a notebook diff which they have on one of their pull requests. So this is the, how the pull request looks on GitHub. And you can see a diff for some Python notebooks, some Jupyter notebooks. And we can try to load their diffs and it might work and look kind of weird or might not load it at all, as you saw before. The same pull requests on Dexab. If you go inside pull requests, you can see all of the project's pull requests open and closed. And here I opened already the specific notebook diff, which you can see and review it and comment and everything. I opened the, an empty GitHub repository and I'm gonna show you how to connect it. Okay, so this is the GitHub repo. You need to go to the create menu uh, connect the repo, connect, authorize. Okay. The cool thing about the new integration is that it doesn't give by default access to all of your repositories, right? You need to add or revoke access to specific repositories. Then you can choose which repos you're gonna give access and which not, connect. This is the repo we just saw. I'm gonna connect it. And it's connected. Okay, simple enough. Okay, so you connect your repo, you get your DVC remote and MLflow remote. You can keep working and use the new remotes you just got for free. And okay, after working, you have a project which I made before. You can see it still on GitHub and on Dexab, and as well as the pull requests, right? So here I have a branch with some data that I pushed, and I want to merge it into the main branch. So the way I do this is I can open it right from Dexab, create a new pull request, I can see my data here, okay? So, and I'm gonna create the pull request. Okay, now what's going to happen is the pull request is being created 
on GitHub as well. On GitHub, you can see you can see the pull requests, but as you know, GitHub doesn't show DVC files. So if you want to see the data, you need to go to the exam. And here you can see all of your changes, and you can also merge the pull requests right from here. You can see on GitHub that the pull request was merged. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have a question. If uh, your pull request, for example, is initialized by another bot, like... Like the Panda bot. Yeah, something like that. Or how, do, how does, it, does it translate? Like, I imagine it translates to that. Yeah, code. so I, I didn't show you this, oh, but yeah. if you have um, any issue or pull request that's opened by a non dexob user, is still visible in Dexam. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's oh. visible. You will see Dependabot or whatever. And if you click on the username, it will open the GitHub profile on a new tab. And is this all, uh, I imagine this also works for private repos on, on GitHub? Yes, the right. demo one I showed you is actually private. Oh, okay. okay. But it's with the same constraint uh, of the like Dexam plan you're in. So yeah. like if you have an organization. Or... That's pretty cool being able to just come to, to see the, the... Notebook diff, that's very nice. <laughs> so technically all, all your other CI CD works similarly on GitHub side and everything yeah. that you do for pull requests because mostly pull requests for, for, for that, right? Uh, gets reflected. So basically like, though, unlock the uh, GitHub actions for ML. You, you, can, you can try it out yourself right now. The project I showed you at the beginning, it was a user generated project that I didn't touch. Hmm. Um, and we're trying to see what, what you're going to do with an integration. How are you going to integrate the exam into your workflows?